Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked Okay, so I'm at my appointment to get this ultrasound at the children's hospital. Um for the baby. So and it's at Akron Children's. Let me be careful. Waiting on the doctors to come in and do the heart, oh, the heart sonogram or whatnot. So I'm here. I'll let you guys know what they say. All right, so it's a couple of days later after the ultrasound. I then took my 14 year old out on the outing to have fun at a little cookout, whatever. We got a whole bunch of stuff. And like, can I just say I'm over this pregnancy? Like, because since I started having doctor's appointment, it's just everything is just overdone. The ultrasounds, overdone. The prenatal appointment's not enough. Like, I know I get it that you get one prenatal appointment a month until you get to like maybe like 35, 37 weeks. I don't remember this. Everything is just different with this pregnancy, and I'm just like over it. And they keep giving me ultrasounds, and I don't know why. Like, they ruled out Down syndrome. I'm not at risk for that. I'm not high risk. Um, I have four ultrasounds. Next week, I got another ultrasound. And I had one last week. And I'm just like, okay, can we get to what matters? I want to know if he's growing correctly. I want to know how many pounds he is. I want to know if he's measuring correctly. Like, I need to know if I'm going to be a mom that can bring my baby home or if I'm going to end up being a NICU mom because, honey, I don't want to be a NICU mom because that's a lot of running back and forth. And, child, I don't know if I can even do it. But I'm going to show y'all my ultrasound. Um, My last ultrasound that I had got. Let me see. I'm using a tabletop um tripod. Hopefully it don't fall back. But I keep my ultrasounds in my diary where I write my journal entries. Hold on, let me see. Okay, the lighting is better over here. Y'all don't mind my lighting because my, my lighting in my house is yellow, which is another reason why I don't do videos. The reason why I haven't been keeping y'all updated is because, like, I'm over the damn pregnancy. I'm, I'm ready to do the fun stuff like vlog with my baby when my baby get here. Um, And I'm going to show y'all the corner over here there where I got all this his stuff. But this is the last ultrasound they did. Can y'all see baby boy? Y'all see him? He's stanker, stanker, stanker. And I am, uh, what does ultrasound say? 21 weeks and three days. But today I'm like 22 weeks. So this is him in the womb. You see his face. You see his, he's, he looks like he's going to be cute, y'all. So that was last week. And then I didn't ever show y'all. I told y'all I was having a boy, but I didn't show y'all the ultrasound where they put that it's a boy. So he, you see his little Peter Weeder. So he is a boy. I just cannot wait. And I get to be in the house with my baby because he's going to be a winter baby. And so, like, I'm just, I just want to do the prenatal appointments. I don't want to do all this ultrasound appointments. Like, what's wrong? Is something wrong? Am I high risk or something? Something I don't know about? I'm going to show y'all what the baby has so far um this is his corner so this is like not this bad but these is bi bi diapers that i done bought him i bought him like um i bought him two packs of newborns and a box of newborns so far and these number one diapers down here was given to me this is y'all I'm going to talk to you about this box right here. But if y'all want to know what it is, it's, it's, it's actually a toddler car seat. And I'm going to tell y'all why and how I got that. But this is like some stuff that somebody gave me. It's like a a baby boy hat and a pacifier chain and some socks and some diapers and some other stuff. And all this stuff is like baby bottles, 
baby wash lotion. These is um, Dr. Brown bottles that I have bought. Them is all baby clothes. Which, of course, I'm not done with the baby clothes. Um, not at all. We still got stuff to do. Oh, about this box right here, y'all. So, let me tell y'all. I have went to a parenting class to get this. I don't need the parenting classes because I know how to be a parent. It just, I was never given a chance with my other three. And so, this is my chance with this one. But I already know everything I need to know. I, I got this in the bag. Um, but this car seat, I had went to a parenting class to get it. And you had to do eight weeks. Like, you had to go every Thursday for eight weeks. And they gave me a toddler car seat, y'all. So, what I was told was that they don't give out infant car seats no more. Because... People are taking their babies home in the car seat or they arrive from where they're coming from with their baby and sitting their baby down in the house and letting them sleep in a car seat like it's a bassinet or a bed and not waking them up and moving them and putting them in a crib and they're dying in the car seats. So when you go to these programs, they don't give you an infant car seat. They give you a toddler car seat. But my question is, like, who finna go to the hospital, had a baby... Put their baby in a toddler car seat and carry a big ass toddler car seat for a two to three year old out of the hospital with a newborn in it. Huh? What'd you say? Oh, okay. Not you either? I, I didn't think so. So, I got this other program. I go on the 18th where they signed me up for like $500 worth of baby stuff. Um, it's called the Kiss Program. And they're going to give me the stroller combo, a whole bunch of clothes. Uh, bassinet. I pretty much don't got to buy nothing for my baby, but you know I'm still going to do. And I plan on breastfeeding. So, I had signed up through my insurance with this company called Mommy Express. I wasn't going to do the uh, program uh, through my insurance because the one that they gave me was Aeroflow. I know y'all probably heard of that one, but they didn't have the breast pump that I wanted. I wanted the LV. The LV is hot and popping. It's on TikTok. And I plan on like literally breastfeeding with mine. Because when I had my... was it? Was it my son? I think it was my son who's 18 now. When I had him, the foster mom I had was trying to just run everything. I'm talking about when I wanted... I mentioned that I wanted to breastfeed. And she said, you're not about to put your nasty ass titties in that baby mouth. I was like, bitch, how you know my titties nasty? Be fucking for real. On down to the point where when I had him, I woke up from anesthesia and this bitch was holding my baby. Like, bitch, I didn't even get to touch him. I'm just waking up for anesthesia from the C-section and you're holding my child. So I flipped out on her. You know what happened? She opened his diaper and he pissed right in her face and I cackled. Bitch, it was funny. So... She just was basically running everything. Like, when I wanted to go somewhere and take him with me, which is what you should do as a responsible mother. You lay there and had that baby. You take the baby with you. Oh, when you go somewhere, you leave that baby here. You're not about to be running the streets with it. It's my child. What do you mean? So, I plan on breastfeeding because I didn't get the chance. I tried with my second child because I was, like, groaning on my own and living on my own when I did that. And, um... When I tried to, it didn't work because I had an invert nipple. But the nipple that was really invert is now sticking out a lot. So, I'm like, maybe I will be able to breastfeed this pregnancy. So, yeah, like I said, um, I went through a, pro a program called Mommy Express. And they have the LB LV pump that I want. And it's hot across TikTok. And I was like, that would be dope to be able to, like, you know, stick it in your bra, let it go, let it pump the little five ounces each. And then walk, you can walk around the house, clean up, get situated with the baby. And so we're going to do that. And so, yeah, um, that's pretty much the update. And I think I ain't, I haven't took my prenatal pills in three days. Don't kill me. Because I was on them little pink pills, the CVDs right here. Right here. Let me see if I can get y'all to focus. They, the CVS brand. Let me move my face off the camper. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. But it's the CVS brand of prenatals. I 
it's I had to switch to these gummies, which I just finished these last week. I was not playing no games. You take two, um, chew two, um, every day. I did that today. Was gone. I finished them last week, and then I started taking these again. I stopped taking these to take the chewables because I noticed once I got into my second trimester, when I would swallow the pill, no matter what I drank with it, water, whatever, I would burp. And when I would burp, I would taste the prenatal pill and I would get sick and have to vomit. So I had switched and I was like, I don't like that. So I had switched to these. Now these are gone. So I'm back to taking these. I'm going to go ahead and finish these. Now, this is the first pregnancy where I took prenatal pills and actually took them like I was supposed to. Now, every now and then I skip three days out of a week and then get back to it. Maybe two days and get back to it. But I've been on it. But... I miss three days because I be it be the swallowing and knowing not oh and sometimes if you do it with water with nothing flavored in your mouth it ain't it so I'm gonna start back tomorrow taking these uh, since I've been in my later in my second trimester since I've gotten further in my second trimester I haven't had that problem so maybe I'm okay so but yeah that's my update. Can y'all see the bump? <laughs> and this is a five month bump. So, yeah. And he is growing really good. He's moving a lot. He's kicking a lot. Like, he was woke earlier just doing the most. And so, when I went to my ultrasound to get his heart checked, because when I was born, I was born with a heart congenital heart defect, and they wanted to make sure he wouldn't have anything. And... All four of his heart chambers are connected correctly and everything. I don't know what this other ultrasound is for this week, but I have another one. And then I have a prenatal appointment Monday. And today is Sunday. So, yeah. But that's pretty much my update. I'm going to get off of here. And I'm going to see y'all on the next video. I don't know when I'm going to put it out. But I'm, I'm about to go on edit this and get it out because I, I think I ain't did a video in like two weeks. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.